ideas to take a multi-sensory approach to learning letter formation. In this example, we will use the letter Y. First, we're going to trace the letter in the air. So use your pointer finger, and we'll use the same verbal cues each time. For Y, it goes little line, big line. Little line, big line. Next, trace the letter with your finger using different textures. You can use anything that is in your house, like the carpet, or a pillow, or even just the tabletop. In this example, I'm going to use a coaster, and we'll trace Y again. So with your pointer finger, we'll say little line, big line. Little line, big line. Another idea is to build the letter you want to make, and Legos are a good option if you already have a lot of those in your house. Now you're going to use a writing utensil. But before you use just a regular pencil and paper, you can try putting the paper on top of a different texture, like sandpaper, or in this example I'm using a Lego board again, just to add in another component and you'll feel that resistance. Little line, big line. This also forces you to work on stabilizing the paper. I'll try one more time. Little line, big line. And then the last step is to use regular paper and a pen or pencil, and we'll make the letter again. Little line, big line. So again, these methods can be duplicated with just about any materials you have in your house already. You shouldn't have to go and buy anything new. But the idea is that you're practicing the letters with the same exact formation, saying the same verbal cues each time, so it really gets cemented in your brain. And that is a multi-sensory approach to letter formation.